Performance is fine. It kills about two or three people around me just because they can't stand it. And anybody about five feet out, you do get headaches. What's up guys? In this video, we are going to be doing another hating with Fragrantica. So there's gonna be another cologne or fragrance that I hate. And this is one that it's decently loved in the community. At least I've seen a lot of recommendations for it and I could be the first person to not recommend this fragrance for you at all. Um, before I get sued or anything, this is my opinion. And Mont Blanc has, I mean, decent fragrances. I actually do like their individual fragrance. Um, this is just a fragrance I hate. Um, so don't sue me. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance. It's gonna be Mont Blanc's Legend EDP in particular, uh, just because it's the one I, I've actually owned. Um, didn't own it for too long, owned it for about a day. Uh, but there's a fragrance I'll be talking about in this video particularly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead with the pros. Clean masculine scent that lasts long. Um, I believe it did last long. Clean scent, I don't know. Easy to wear and complimented often. You could probably get complimented off to people that don't have noses or maybe just have bad taste in perfumes. Um, a good addition to any collection? Absolutely not. Cons, not as sweet as the EDT version. Some find it mediocre or meh. Has a synthetic note that some may not enjoy. The synthetic note is the fragrance. This fragrance is a super synthetic fragrance. Um, so the notes are, the top notes are violet leaf, bergamot, middle notes, woods, uh, woodsy notes, jasmine, magnolia, and base notes, oak moss and leather. The top notes, so I get the very synthetic smell with the bergamot. And on my skin, it does not leave. This fragrance, I sprayed it on myself, scrubbed it off. Gave it a chance, wore it. Could not stand myself while I wore this fragrance. So, took a shower. Just that bergamot, that synthetic bergamot smell did not leave. It's one of those bergamot smells that gives me headaches. Um, I've only ever tried it in this cheap, this other cheap uh, perfume, I forgot what it was, but it was like an Amway Arena perfume that someone wanted me to try at work. and. I, I think you know what that one's actually that one might have been worse than this one but just the bergamot smell how synthetic it comes it's just a bad fragrance some people say it reminds them of percival um if this is what percival smells like i will never be buying percival um i'm not even interested in getting a decant or a sample of percival at this point just because people say it reminds them of percival um which is 185 likes to 55 dislikes, which is a pretty good ratio of people saying that this smells like Percival. So Percival is a fragrance I automatically do not want to try now because of this. So let's go ahead and get into, well, maybe positive reactions. Uh, so it says, do you guys get Beast performance, because I get over 12 hours with pretty strong projection. I'm confused because most people get mid-performance, but I guess I got good skin or a beast batch. Um, I saw a few of those comments about performance. Performance, it does. I don't know. I, I guess it ranges with some people just because there's a lot of good ones and bad ones. It just depends on you. Um, if this is a fragrance you actually want to perform on you, well, you probably don't care about other people. And your nose is probably not working correctly. Um, next one says, I get so many compliments from femboys while wearing this. When I saw this, I had no idea what this term femboys mean. I'm not sure if it means feminine boys. But is it boys? Or is it men? And is it a good thing? I have no idea. But if you're into attracting femboys, then... This is the fragrance for you. It's like the opposite of a panty dropper. Whatever that would be. Next one says, the king of shower gel fragrances. It's casual day or well, casual Friday at work. Jeans and a polo shirt. You're sick of Aventus, Blue de Chanel, Savage GDP you wore all week. You want something less serious. It comes Mont Blanc. It comes in Mont Blanc Legend. You're unlikely to blow anyone away with how amazing you smell. 
but it's very agreeable and one of the couple of my fragrances in my collection a couple of the fragrances in my collection that my wife comments she likes most times I put it on I think an 18 year old or a 50 year old can pull this off performance is fine two to three sprays on the back of the neck and I'm getting wafts about after five hours five to five hours which is an average out of my collection if you're a budget if you're on a budget, something like Latafa well, Fakar Black does the same thing as this for less money. So, that's another fragrance I will not be trying. Latafa Fakar Black. Avoiding that at all costs. Abercrombie Fierce. Avoiding that at all costs. Um, so, I guess, imagine wearing a Ventus Blue de Chanel Sauvage. And then you decide to wear something like Legend. This guy is... I, I don't even know. How do you go from saying... You're wearing Aventus. Now think about... Think about it. Aventus. Really good. Then you go Blue de Chanel. Chanel. Amazing. Savage EDP. A lot of people wear it. Still amazing. Mont Blanc Legend because it's casual day. If you want casual day, wear Sauvage. Maybe even Blue de Chanel. But this fragrance. Well, I guess, you know, you're looking trashy, so you want to smell trashy on a casual day, right? That's why you wore this fragrance. That makes sense. So really how this... Things should have went. The worst of shower gel fragrances. It's casual day at work, jeans and a blue shirt, and you look like shit. Uh, I want to wear something that smells like shit. So, I went ahead and wore my Block Legend. I blew away a few people because they didn't realize how bad a fragrance could smell. Unless they smelled Nautica Voyager before. But I smelled terrible. I smelled like a synthetic bergamot. A bergamot that was chemically made um, in one of those new labs that they're growing chickens in. So, I think an 18-year-old or a 50-year-old that wants to smell like shit could definitely pull this off. Performance is fine. It kills about two or three people around me just because they can't stand it. And anybody about five feet out, you do get headaches. So it has its own superpowers. So if you're on a budget, if you're on a budget and you can't buy this fragrance... Well, let's say if you're on a budget and you if you can't afford this fragrance, that's like, you know what? Take it as a blessing that you can't buy this fragrance. Don't get a clone of or if this even is a clone of that the top of a car black. Don't even touch it. Get something else. If you can't afford this Mont Blanc legend, I'm happy for you. So uh I don't even know what to say. If you really, if you really want a fragrance that's this bad, I mean, I don't know how many YouTubers have re recommended it in those like, I guess it's the cheap list or cheap fragrance list. There's way better fragrances out there than this fragrance. This fragrance sucks. If you buy this fragrance from a recommendation that someone else has told you, especially a YouTuber, uh, you got got. You just got got. Someone was able to make some commission off of this. So they probably put that in their video so you could buy it just because it was cheap. And you got got. So that's all I got for you guys. Quick video. I hate this fragrance. You will probably hate it if you tried it. If you love it, I don't know what to tell you. Probably switch it, you know, get a different hobby. Um, but yeah, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to argue, make sure you hit that like button on the way down. Um, if you want to defend me, go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe on the way down also. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys. Please, uh, I already said that. Have a good one.